This will be an explanation of shifting to third position. Now again, I recommend that you do this without looking at any notes, without reading notes. Let's just practice the shifting process to third position. Um, again, if you've been practicing finding third position using Here Comes the Bride, that's a great start and you might be already very comfortable with this. But let's just give a quick explanation of what we're going to do. The idea here is, is that your finger that you're shifting with should sort of slide across the string. It's not, you do not jump up from first to third position, but it's, it really truly is a shift. It's, it's a silent slide. So I'm going to take just a minute to show you the way that shift works and give you some ideas of what to practice. So first thing I would do is find the pitch that we're going to start on. We're going to start on the G string with first finger as an A. And the pitch for third position will be the C, third finger on the G string. But we want to shift there with first finger. Notice how you heard a little slide. Now we're going to just let up the pressure of your finger just a bit so it becomes silent. What we don't want is a big hop. That's really not very good. We want that silent slide. Okay? So we're going to do that with first finger on all four strings. A string. E string. Once you feel like you're really comfortable with that technique, let's try shifting with second finger. On the G string, it would be second finger B to where your fourth finger would be D. Let's do the same thing on the D string, F sharp to A. A string, C sharp to E. And E string, G sharp to B. Next, we can use third finger, C to E, G to B on the D string, D to F sharp, And finally, on the E string, A, third finger, to C. And we can even do the same thing with fourth finger. D string. A string. and E string. Give it a try on your own and spend time playing shifts from first to first on all four strings, second to second on all four strings, third to third, and then fourth to fourth. When you get good at that, then try mixing it up. First finger to second finger, first finger to third finger, etc. I'll show you a first to second. So it would be an A, 
to what will become a D. One to three. And even one to four. These are all great exercises to do on your own without music in front of you.